Well, when I first started to hear about it, I thought, well, maybe it's going to be like H1N1 and SARS and some of the other ones that didn't really affect us that much here. And then I could see it coming into Canada and spreading, and then I started to get very worried. Of course, with all of the compromised, medically compromised people we support, I was worried right away. And uh, I knew we had plans in place that we had back in the day when we were planning for those other pandemics, but um, that we'd have to brush them off and kind of take a look at them all over again. And we've grown so much and we have so many different programs that it was going to be quite a challenge. So it was a bit terrifying when it started to spread. I think when we started to hear the government say things like, all Canadians need to come home now from international locations, nothing like that had ever happened before. So I knew it was definitely, government knew that something was coming and it wasn't going to be good. And so I knew that we were going to have to start making some changes. Then the pandemic was declared, schools were closed, shortly thereafter daycares were closed. You know, it was getting very serious. And so I knew that then we were going to have to face something we had never faced before. Uh, probably first and foremost is that the executive team and the pandemic committee really came together very quickly and we had constant meetings and communication amongst ourselves and amongst the teams. Teams started having regular huddles about it. Everybody made sure that everybody knew what was going on, or at least to the best of our abilities, because things were changing so rapidly. So that was probably key. And then just people were so creative and people really focused on the people we support, coming up with all kinds of unique and creative ways of keeping people busy, doing things virtually, just basically pivoting on a dime and just reimagining everything, all of the different services. All of the staff, they showed up for work, even though I'm sure they were afraid of the COVID in the beginning, nobody knew what was going to happen. They showed up, they Hardly any shifts were unfilled, which is remarkable. Uh, so really everybody pulled together, everybody, every level of the organization, from the cleaners to the nurses to every single person. Lots of people had to go and work from home, even though they didn't necessarily have the right tools at home. They made it work, and really I didn't hear hardly any complaints at all. So really very remarkable. Well, we can always do better, so we try our best. Uh, th things are changing really, really rapidly. So. There was a lot of information coming out, although it was coming out at the same time as the public was getting it. We had to kind of dissect what did that mean, what did it mean for us, what did it mean for all the different departments, or service areas, program areas, how did staff have to change what they were doing. So there was just a lot going on and we know probably one of the areas we could have done better is to communicate to families more. Um, in particular, even if there's nothing to say, we learned just say there's nothing to say because people just want to know that so that's the one thing that I think we could have done better. I'm most grateful for the direct staff, direct care staff who came in regardless of their own cares, concerns, things going on in their own families, their own worries. They came in, they were creative, they, they were kind to each other, they all just pitched in and did what needed to be done which is just truly a remarkable bunch of people so just thank you so much. I think when I look back now, I think that I'm just really grateful that we had spent so much time focusing on our values and on mindfulness in particular. I think when things, the whole world is, seems like it's out of control and there's a lot of negativity everywhere, that we can just stop and just be in the moment and just be grateful for what we have in that particular moment. So just really appreciate that part. I'm really grateful that we had no cases of COVID-19, not in any of our staff, not in anybody that we support which is outstanding and it's a combination of all of the good work that we did and just being really diligent and I know it wasn't easy for everyone. Um, I'm also really grateful for just people were just kind to each other knowing that it was really hard on a lot of people's mental health to deal with everything going on in their personal lives, everything going on at work, people are at different places and how they're dealing with the pandemic. Just, just being kind.